John the Mouse. The warden's house was the largest house on the island. Located on the top of the island, next to the lighthouse and the doctor's house. On the first floor, it boasted five big rooms and a porch around two sides of the house. On the second floor, five bedrooms. Don't forget the two bedrooms on the third floor. With this enormous house, it had four bathrooms to go along with it. With its tall windows, you had the best view of San Francisco Bay. Only one spot better. That would be on top of the lighthouse. The mansion was built in 1921 and 15 rooms, according to the Golden Gate National Recreational Area signpost. But if you look on Wikipedia, it points out some other resources that say it was built in 1926 or 1929 and had 17 or 18 rooms. If you go back to what I said earlier, add it up, and that is 16 rooms. This picture from the U.S. Army that was taken in 1930. And the house was there at that time. What about the walkout basement? There was at least two rooms down there. That would make it 18. If you know more than what I could dig up, please leave a comment below. The things we do know is that between 1934 and 1963, the four wardens of Alcatraz resided there. All the wardens held lavish cocktail parties there. The signpost at the spot shows you a photograph of a trusted inmate doing chores at the house for the warden. So you know who cleaned up after these big parties. During one of these parties, several guards reported seeing the specter of a man with a mutton chop sideburns wearing a gray suit in a brimmed cap. He left the room icy cold in his presence. He also extinguished the fire in the Ben Franklin stove. Like many sites on the island, the house is reputed to be haunted. Getting back to the outside of the house, you can see in this picture that they had a greenhouse and a terrace garden that an inmate would work in for the warden. I will talk about that later on inmates doing the gardening on the whole island. This island has seen a lot of buildings come and go, most leave a footprint in the rock of this island. Three Victorian houses were constructed along the switchback road in 1880 to 82 and was removed in 1934 due to their proximity to the cell house. The other two buildings were the hospital, the big one, and then the smaller one was the hospital steward's quarters. As we go up the road to the warden's house, two more houses get taken down in 1941. Their foundations, retraining walls, garden walks, staircases, and the flower gardens survive as you walk by them. Just a reminder of the transitions the island has seen. Now at the crest of the roadway, you'll get to the docks house, the warden's house, and the house for the lighthouse operator. Only the shells of their walls remain after they were burned during the Indian occupation. June 1st, 1970. The Indians claim that they did not do it. One thing for sure, after that, they got kicked off the island. We will talk more about that later. Thank you for watching my video. If you like the information that you have received here today, I would encourage you to share this with everyone you know. I do have more for you to view, just press on the button. And if you'd like to subscribe to stay up to date, you can push that button too.